we will continue with the, the running Musharaka product as being used by some Islamic bank in Pakistan. Humne pichle module mein dekha tha ke company ka investment share in the business would be 99.83% and the bank's share in the business would be 0.17% during the year in accordance with the point system which we mentioned earlier in the previous module. So this investment share is very crucial for the distribution of profit as well as if there is any loss. Because the profit distribution ratio in this case is a bit complicated it's not just a number it is actually a formula and the question arises can we use a complicated formula like this when it comes to determining profit distribution ratio in musharaka and for that purpose in case of mudarab the answer is yes as long as a formula generates a fixed number at any point in time, this is acceptable. So, these uh, values, for example, company's profit share would be determined by 99.83%, which is the investment share of the company, multiplied with 14% of the profit realized plus 99.999% of the 86% of the realized profit. So, this seems like a complicated profit distribution formula, but actually it is not. It basically says that investment share of the respective party multiplied with a chosen rate. In this case, 14% was the indicative or targeted rate of return which the bank wanted to get from this financing. And then okay, this one is actually a Sharia requirement to make sure that this number, this, this number and of course this number, this will be just a number, they are equally, they are actually equal to 1. So, if this happens to be if this happens to be x and this happens to be y, their addition should be equal to 1. So, this is a complicated formula which is used by Islamic banks offering running Musharaka based overdraft facility in Pakistan. So, let us put some uh, numerical values in this formula to see what kind of return uh, if this bank receives from its overdraft facility of 1 crore rupees offered to a company. Now, suppose at the end of the year, the company generated 500 million rupees profit. So, we put this value in the formula. So, we had 99.83% already there, 14% already there. So, we say 14% of 500 million. Okay, plus 99.999 multiplied with 86 percent of 500 million. Similarly, bank share would be 0.17 percent multiplied with 14 percent of 500 million rupees plus 0.0001 percent of 86 percent of 500 million. When I say it, it looks complicated, but on your Excel sheet, this is very easy. Okay? So, it is not a complicated kind of formula. Some people, they, they object to the use of this kind of formula because they think that this is very complicated. No, this is not complicated. It is a very simple formula. It just happens to have more values. At any point in time, Whenever all these numerical values are known, this would generate a number like 50 percent, 60 percent, 70 percent and so on. So, it is not complicated from that viewpoint. Now, when we plug these values 
So, this becomes 99.83 percent of 70 million plus 99.9999 multiplied with 430 million and similarly 0.17 percent of 70 million plus 0 0.0001 percent of 430 million. That would be the bank's share and this would be the company's share. This would be in the final format 499.87 million would be the share of the company A in the profit generated of 500 million over a period of one year. And the bank would earn a return of 120,000 rupees on an overdraft facility it has offered to the company for a period of one year. So, this is in my view a very interesting and a very innovative Islamic financial product based on the concept of musharaka. It fulfills all the Sharia requirements of a musharaka contract and this running musharaka is actually a very good example of application of an Islamic mode of financing which is uh, ultimately based on musharaka.